Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about how do we plot graphs for physics experiments. So you can see on the right here, um, a series of items that we'll be looking out for when we are marking your practical graphs. The first one is title. Title is quite self-explanatory. Uh, we need to write down um, the title of the graph, for example. A title can be graph of acceleration. It give me the units um, separated by a slash against this. So this is an example of a title. Now the second part, uh, A stands for axis. For axis, let's say at the for the y axis, I need to see um, the quantity separated by a slash um, from its units. Similarly, for the x axis, I should see the quantity separated by a slash from its units. Next comes S. S stands for scale. I'm looking out for two things for scale. Number one, the graph must be big enough. So what do I mean by a graph being big enough? Um, this is a typical graph. From the very first plot to the very last plot, um, this will be the range of your graph. So this horizontal range of the graph must be more than half of the graph paper. So typically, there are actually 10 squares, 10 bit squares horizontally. This um, range of a graph from the first plot to the last plot needs to be at least uh, 6 squares and above. Similarly, the vertical range here um, should be more or equals to 7 squares because the vertical range, you should have 12 big squares vertically. So in short, the first point that, that we're looking out for for scale is that your graph is big enough. The range from the first plot to the last plot needs to occupy more than half of the graph paper. The second thing that I'm looking out for for scale will be the use of your labels. So if you start from zero, make very sure that you label a zero at the bottom left corner. You need not start from zero, you can start from any number that you want. For example, I can easily start from 0 0.2 here and move on to 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on. On the horizontal axis, I could have started from say 3 and 4 five and so on and so forth. Now the numbers that you use cannot be odd scale. So the second point that we're looking out for for your scale is that you have used appropriate um, divisions for your scale. So what are appropriate divisions for example multiples of one, multiples of two, um, multiples of five, multiples of ten. The next thing that um, comes will be plots, P for plots. So for plots uh, ensure that all your plots are um, represented by crosses and make sure that the plots are being plotted accurately. Next comes L. L stands for line. More specifically, best straight line. Uh, a line in physics experiment shouldn't be connecting the dots kind of line. It should be a best fit line um, that minimizes deviations away from the plots. So what do I mean by this? So typically, we should have um, something like this. Let's say for a straight line graph, all my plots are labeled, um, represented by crosses. And a straight line that passes through them will be something like this. Drawn using ruler. Uh, and the graph actually minimizes this green color positive deviations which is above the, the best fit line. And then this green color deviation is actually equal to the orange deviations. So in short, a best fit line tries to minimize the positive deviations and negative deviations. In addition, they try to have your positive deviation being equals to your negative 
deviation. All your positive deviation must be um, equal to all your negative deviations and you will get the best fit line. Alright, so next up comes G. G stands for gradient. So this is a typical best fit line. So gradient plots needs to be notated by a dot like this and a gradient triangle drawn using dotted lines must be seen. Alright, so things that we are looking out for is that your, your gradient plots, let's say this gradient plot is just before your data plot. And the first gradient plot is just after your data plot. This ensures that your gradient triangle is as big as possible within the range of your plots. Finally, C stands for coordinates. So what we're looking out for is the coordinates of your gradient triangle. So this coordinate needs to be written and this coordinate also needs to be written. And that's it. That's, these are all the um, marking points and criteria for having a proper graph in physics.